did you see the article about uh, uh, what's going on in L.A. right now? Because, you know, the, the, all these guys that are saying this stuff, sometimes they say these unrealized gains. Defund the police. It's a good idea. And then they're like, oh, shit, we didn't say it. The Republicans said defund the police. No, no, you came up with defund the police. Yes. And now they're all increasing their budget to hire cops because in L.A., did you see what happened in L.A. at the Grove? Like what okay. they have around the Grove? Did you did you see what the— Type in L.A. Grove fence. Did you see what the LAPD put out for travelers coming to L.A.? No. They're like— don't wear anything flashy. Yeah. If somebody if somebody tries to rob you, yeah, don't try to negotiate them. Just give them what they look want. On look at this. This is CNN. Famous L.A. shopping center adds barbed wire-like fence to deter smash and grabs. Wow. This is this isn't. We're talking about CNN here. Look at this. This doesn't make any sense. Businesses are worried today in L.A. FYI. Yesterday, somebody sent a story saying a uh, 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 famous. Uh, Look at uh, that. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, by the way. The wire That's fencing like, uh, is. The in Apple place, store in Portland. Did, did, you, ever, did you pull up the Apple store in Portland after this? Watch this. The wire fencing in place didn't fully deter a robbery at the Grove on November 22nd when a group of 18 to 20 looters used sledgehammers and an electric bicycle to smash into the complex Nordstrom after hours. They managed to steal at least 5,000 of merchandise and cost $15,000 in damages through police who later recovered merchandise, arrested three people in connection with the burglary. The video, somebody sent me a video yesterday, so check this out. Guy walks in, takes stuff. He's at Walmart. They can't say anything to him. He just walks out. He's not running out. He just walks out. Yeah. Then he walks out. He ties his shoelaces outside <laughs> in front of the stairs. You're... You you just thought you're supposed to run. <laughs> That's the protocol. He's tying his shoelaces. I got I'm no cool. Time. I'm not gonna get arrested. Go home. So someone said, like, "Oh, people are leaving LA." I said, "Dude, you have not seen the ex exodus California is about to experience. It hasn't started yet. People think it started because Elon, you know, all these guys have Joe Rogan. It hasn't Elon. even started yeah. yet. Just wait. Just wait uh, uh, to see what happens there. But." Uh, yeah, so these policies that uh, you're talking about. By the way, I went and looked at the Stock Act that came up with. Some people are talking about that AOC has money and all this other stuff. U.S. News did an article saying, what are Congress members trading? Uh, in 2013, a amendment to the Stock Act came up, made some changes, clouding the transparency and ac ac accessibility of Congress members' financial uh, transactions. Most not notably, it re uh, removed the requirement for electronic filing in a searchable, sortable database of transactions. However, one useful aspect of the legislation, which requires members to publicly report financial transactions in stocks, bonds, and other assets within 45 uh, days, yeah. that remains, which is good. This is why people know what Pelosi owns. But but yeah. there are still people that are skirting that, like Republican Tommy Tuberville, the ex-football coach. He, he, refuses, <laughs> he refuses to admit what he sells all the time. Like He got caught uh, selling Alibaba stock months after he sold it. Now he's got... Uh, by the way, for people that don't want to look it up, Tommy Tuberville has some massive short puts on both Apple, Microsoft, and uh, first quarter of 2022. I think uh, Apple Mr. Tuberville— Apple just became a tr $3 trillion dollar company. If you, believe, if you believe Tommy Tuberville, he thinks that the first quarter of 2022 is going to be brutal. Yeah, I, 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 share, I share that opinion. So this I, is, I think crypto You share too. that opinion? I, I, I have the opinion. I also, fair disclosure, had the opinion that Bitcoin was going to run up by now. But I think it's going to run up in the first quarter, followed by a massive sell-off on crypto, um, uh, tech stocks. How bad How bad do you think it's going to be? 2022? 30, 30%. So you think Bitcoin's going to drop to what, 25, 30? My prediction, Bitcoin hits over 100,000 and drops back to where it is today. So, oh, okay. You know yeah, I mean? So it's no, you're not saying it's going to drop to 20 or 15 or 30 or anything like that? I mean, it could. I think it's going to be a massive... I think there's too much money in it right now, yeah. but after the run-up, I, I think it could go from 100... 50 back to 50. Yeah, 30. that's not that's but, not a that's not something that's going to move the the uh, the long play guys. What does right. uh, uh, Palm say? Nearly 85 percent of uh, Bitcoin owners never sell their Bitcoin. They that's keep true. it. They just sit on it. So these are not guys that are churning and burning. Of course, yeah. the other 15 percent is just buying it as a Absolutely. stock, and they're you know pump and dump. But many of the true believers are hanging on to it. Why, why do you think the first quarter of 2022 is going to be so bad? Are, are, are the holiday revenues not going to be what they normally are? Is that what the idea is here? Like, why on earth? I mean, it could start be happening now. I, I uh, Obviously, no one can time the market. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I just uh, think that... Senators seem to do it pretty good. Well, that's true. Uh, but they're talented. They're smart. <laughs> they, they have degrees from uh, Columbia say, University. They seem to do it's it pretty a, good. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a different kind of a, a world they're living in. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast,
click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.